What's up tricksters? It's time for your trick of the day. Today I was remembering an old website I used to go to all the time called the Street of Cards. The Street of Cards in reality is a street in Colon, Michigan, also known as the magic capital of the world, where they have this huge magic like festival convention thing and thousands of magicians go there every year. I've never been. Uh, it looks amazing. But uh, that's what the real street of cards is because people would throw cards all over the street and by the end of the conference there's just cards all over the street. It's a street of cards. Uh, however, about seven to nine years ago-ish, it was around for a couple of years, there was a website called the Street of Cards. And it was a lot of these guys that would go to the conference or convention or it's really like a festival, I think. Um, like I said, I haven't been there yet. But they put this website together and the website was very simple. It had a little video uh, thing on the home page and they would just stream videos 24-7. Uh, you could watch magic videos on there and they were just like videos that they went and researched and found online. Uh, it was cool and then on the right there was a little chat box so you could chat with other people watching these videos all at the same time. It was a cool little community and then it built up from there and you can actually upload your own videos and they would get featured and put into that stream but it's kind of like a YouTube of magic videos. Um, then it was actually like a really nice version of that and that's actually where I ran my first vlog. I did like 54 episodes daily there and I would make magician videos for magicians where I would ask uh, magicians would ask questions and I would answer them. Uh, so that was really cool. Uh, but however, it, it kind of died out, fizzled out for many reasons. Uh, oh, also there was like a cam, cam chat in there. So like you could hook up your camera and microphone and everything and go hang out with like 10 magicians or there, it was like at least one magician would be in there at all times so you were always talking to somebody it would go on for hours and hours and hours and I actually developed some parts of my show in this chat room um, so yeah street of cards awesome stuff but one of the tricks they did early 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 on um, was tying a rope without letting go of the ends this is how they would encourage new people muggles really to kind of get into the street of cards uh, website and, and maybe log in and and build set up their own little account but this was the trick um, take a piece of rope you're gonna tie a knot in it without letting go of the ends just like that there it is that's your knot you don't believe me check it out watch there it is all right I kind of went out of frame a little bit. I'm gonna try it one more time we're gonna scoot you back just a little bit all right I, I may have gone out of frame. I'm trying to stay in frame here. It's kind of tricky to watch what I'm doing in the camera. All right, so that's the knot. You see it? It's right, right there. The knot. And that is a trick that I learned on the street of cards. As they would say on the street of cards, <laughs> I will see you on the street. But I like to say I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and boom. Hey, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like videos just like this, please do us both a favor and click the subscribe button. Below that, you'll find the latest Fitzmagic show, and below that, you'll find a video recommended just for you. Thank you for watching, and click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button.